So what exactly are the differences of gas and liquid filtration? Well, in this video, we'll show you those differences and maybe just a little bit more. Stick around. Hey, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar and I'm here to guide you through the process of gas and liquid filtration. So how exactly do they both differ from each other? Well, WS Tyler has helped customers implement high performing filter mesh for over 150 years. So in this video, we'll go over what filtration is, what gas filtration is, the methods used to facilitate gas filtration, what liquid filtration is, the methods used to facilitate liquid filtration, and how pleated wire mesh filters affect the filtration process. We have a lot to go over, so let's get started. Filtration is the act of passing a liquid or gas through a substance to remove solids or other unwanted substances. There are an innumerable amount of applications and methods to filter substances. From preventing harmful debris from entering your car's transmission to removing those unwanted particles to purify your air, gas and liquid filtration are everywhere in our everyday lives. So let's look at how they work. Gas filtration is the process in which contaminant particles are removed from a gas or vapor. Now, there are several ways to remove particles from gas. There's the Brownian motion method, electrostatic, locking effect, inertial, and sieving effect. To start, the Brownian motion method is the collision of particles within gas streams and atoms on a molecular level, which cause random particle movements. These random movements force the particle to strike the filter, resulting in a filtered gas stream. The Brownian motion method is used for fine particles. Electrostatic filters will attract charged particles that pass by them, based on their electronic charge, thus filtering them from gas. Electrostatic is also used for fine particles. The locking effect makes particles in the gas passing through the filter become trapped due to the filter geometry. The locking effect is used for larger particles. The inertial method makes particles become trapped in the filter media due to the momentum flow of the gas through the filter. The inertial method is also used for larger particles. The sieve effect makes particles larger than the filter aperture be retained on the surface of the filter, creating a filter cake. The sieving effect is, once again, used for larger particles. Liquid filtration is the process in which contaminants are separated from a given liquid to either purify the liquid or extract the solids to form a filtered cake. Now, out of all the methods mentioned, only the sieving effect actually applies to the liquid filtration. The sieving effect is when the liquid is pressed through the screen and the impurities or solid particles collect on the filter screen, so the filtrate or filter cake can be retained depending on the need. Pleating is often used in the design of the filter to increase the surface area, which allows you to get more use out of the single filter. With that being said though, if your filtration process aims to retain the filter cake, using a pleated filter can complicate the process a little uh, if you're collecting the filter cake. Now also note, just as using the right method to facilitate your filtration process is essential, you must identify a, a suitable mesh weave pattern to construct your mesh filter. This will ensure your filter delivers efficient throughput and durability. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.